Wildlife is necessary for many things. It's necessary for our survival as people. It's necessary for our economies. It's necessary for biodiversity and ecosystems. It's necessary for our cultures. Worldwide, we're going through a wildlife crime crisis. If you look at the illegal poaching and trade in wildlife products, whether it be endangered animals, whether it be plants, whether it be timber, you're looking at values between 30 and 100 billion dollars a year. This is money that's going into criminals' pockets. What we're seeing in this, in this trafficking crisis, we're seeing literally the decimation of certain species, elephants, rhinoceros. We're also seeing more demand for less known species, narwhal, walrus, American ginseng, birds of prey. The illegal traffic in these creates challenges for biodiversity and it takes away economic opportunities for cities, for communities, for countries, for governments. It steals from us. If you look at illegal burning of forests, illegal forestry, not only are we looking at habitat loss, we're looking at money that needs to be laundered. This is going into criminals' pockets. Interpol and its member countries are fighting back on, uh, on wildlife crime. We're working on identifying problems, building capacity, controlling uh, operations, coordinating with countries, and taking on some of the world's biggest wildlife crime syndicates. We need the public support to be able to do this. Wildlife crime impacts people, it impacts communities, it impacts countries. It's important. It is important that we work together to stop wildlife crime because the future of wildlife is in our hands.